this video, we use our laser machine to create this fun and functional set of drawers. For this project, I wanted to make an organizer for craft supplies. To add some variety, the organizer was designed with both windowed and non-windowed drawers. Since the drawers are all the same size, you can mix and match which drawers are in the box. Given that the outer box is flat on all sides, multiple organizers can sit side by side or stacked on top of each other for a variety of configurations. The organizer will be made out of 8th inch wood and the windows will be made from 8th inch or thinner acrylic. You can make the windows out of an opaque material that maybe has a number or description engraved or printed on it, but we'll just make it see through. For a little variety, I'm going to make two organizers. I'm going to make one using Baltic birch that will be left natural. For the second, to make this project a little more interesting, I'll add color using some matte vinyl sticker material. I needed to add the vinyl sticker material to the wood I'll be cutting. I could have cut the vinyl by hand, but I used our cutter so that it was exactly sized. The size and shape of the vinyl was actually based on how the parts would lay out on the sheets of material. I removed the excess material from the vinyl that was cut. This process is called weeding. I only need one piece of each color, so I'm just cutting what I'm going to use. I then applied a clear application tape. This just helps me handle the vinyl as it's going to be a little floppy. I'm applying the vial to the 8th inch MDF, uh, which we're going to use for this project. The MDF is nice and smooth, it cuts great on the laser, and is really cheap. I'm just squeegeeing the vinyl down onto the MDF. And once it's applied, I can go ahead and remove that clear application tape. Yeah, we don't want to cut through that on the laser, but we will be applying a paper mask after before lasering. All the material that we're using for this project was run through our laminator to apply a paper mask to protect the surfaces. This isn't always necessary depending on the look or finish you want, but for the areas we applied vinyl, it definitely is. This will keep the edges completely clear of any burning or residue. The application tape can be applied by hand uh, with a squeegee, but a laminator like this makes it just so much easier and cleaner. I found that cutting through both the vinyl and wood creates quite a bit of smoke, so I opted to do a light first pass to cut through the vinyl and then a normal second pass to cut through the wood. You can see that the front panels of the vinyl drawers were positioned to land on the vinyl sections of the material while the other parts are on the regular MDF to their right. We can very accurately do this by setting our templates in CorelDRAW to be the exact size of the laser bed. This way, how we lay it out on the screen will be exactly how it cuts in the laser. One of the organizers will be made totally out of 8th inch Baltic birch, which is what you see being cut here. The sheets of Baltic birch we get are a little more expensive than the MDF sheets, but still a lot cheaper than other natural wood finished sheets. Two of the drawers for the natural Baltic birch organizer will have windows, so those are being cut out of some eighth inch scrap acrylic. These also had a paper mask applied to protect the surfaces from burning. Before starting to glue the pieces together, I have to get all the paper mask peeled from the parts. 
This is the box for the black and white drawers. I decided to make the organizer's box black. You can see how nice the edges came out once the mask is removed. So I'm going to glue the organizer's box together using some regular wood glue. While the box I just put together is drying, it's time to put the drawers together. I tried one drawer first to see if I could somehow speed up the gluing process. After peeling the parts, I taped it together so I could try gluing it while assembled. It worked, but this wasn't the best experience. I think gluing the pieces together like I did with the organizer's box would have looked better, but it was slow and you still have to wipe off excess glue from the parts. So I thought I'd try something else with these drawers. So I peeled the rest of the vinyl cover drawers and then taped them all together. This time I tried using a small hobby sized glue gun. This went a lot better. It was cleaner, faster, and dries almost instantly. It also burns like a mother so you have to be a little careful. And the first organizer is finished. The matte vinyl really gives it a unique look. I think it came out pretty good. For the second organizer, it's pretty much the same process. Peel and glue everything. You can see how prominent the wood grain looks though. I think if you stained and or urethane this, it would really elevate the finish to something special.
For this organizer, I went back to the regular wood glue. I guess I'm just a glutton for punishment and just wanted to give it another go. Once everything was assembled, it was time for the windows. A quick peel of the application tape and then they slide right in. No need to glue them. And that's it. This project is done. Yay! It's a matter of sliding the drawers into their organizer. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think. And if you've ever thought about doing a project like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future projects. We have more laser projects coming soon. Stay tuned.